okay so in this video I'm going to show uh, like how your email MailChimp account authenticate basically this is very much important to uh, to authenticate your email account because once you will start it uh, you will create or import some list you will start subscribing uh, users people will start uh, uh, subscribe your newsletter and services and and so many things but when you will send a newsletter to them it may possible your uh, a newsletter or uh, edm html uh, will uh, land into the spam folder and sometime it not receives sometime it bounces sometime it uh, it shows uh, uh, like in jump in spam so uh, there is a process if you are using mailchimp uh, since i am using mailchimp because this is a very great thing in this uh, they provide 2000 uh, subscribers means i can uh, uh, means my 2000 subscriber can subscribe and i can send free of cost uh, email newsletter to them uh, and up to 12000 emails to 2000 subscribers it means i can send uh, around 6 times uh, newsletter to my subscribers in free account and the price may vary according to your when when your list will be improved or increased so so let us start uh, how you will uh, authenticate your account so first you need to verify your domain so basically there are two three things number one is your domain your domain should be verified and there are two tricky things like SPF and DKIM so for authenticate it you need to log in your account so just this is my this is my account this is uh, my account and i logged in this is basically this is a dashboard and i'll go to account you need to open your emails or also your email should be like a domain uh, email like xyz at sparkclub.in or xyz at domain.com if your domain is xyz so you should create an official email like info at xyz.com or like hr at xyz.com whatever your domain name is so okay so i came in the account go to settings and verify domains okay so I have a verified domain but uh, let me tell you how you will verify this domain first click on verify domain and place the email ID here and um, my email ID is this info at sparkclub.in so I will enter info at sparkclub.in so I don't require to authenticate again or verify again so when you will enter your email id and send verification email so you will receive like this email verify your domain before sending you will click on it and in this email you will get two options one is verify domain access you will click it and your domain will be verified or you will get the code this code you will copy and paste when you will send the verification they will appear here will appear up, up a form where you will paste the code and verify so there are two methods the simple method is just to click on verify domain access so this is the way by which you will verify your domain now this is a little bit tricky method or a tricky thing in authentication your domain so there are two things authentication so I have a reference document I have created so basically first part is done the second part I'm going to so you should have SPF and DKIM record so where you will get is login your MailChimp account account verify domain authenticate click on view setup instruction so view setup instruction just this is a view setup instruction under the authentication click on it so you will get ideally two things you require one more thing this one k1.domainkey.sparkclub.in in case if your domain is xyz.com so your xyz.com will appear here so your 
record will be like k1 dot underscore domain key dot xyz dot com in my case this is my record and dkim name is this c name is this and the spf record this is but you required you will require only and only this thing so uh, either you can copy and you just leave it here and uh, open the C, C panel open the C panel so okay spark dot in C panel okay so I logged in my C panel uh, okay so I logged in my C panel let uh, let's see uh, what is the process now so open C panel website and uh, you would like to send user as uh, okay so basically I would like to uh, send some newsletter from my this account from my mail uh, from uh, sparkclub.in like uh, I would require to send when I will send my newsletter so by this ID uh, newsletter should go to my subscribers or to my list so the domain name is sparkclub.in so what I am verifying this domain name so authenticate leave setup and go to the C panel and go DNS search here uh, DNS DNS okay so DNS advanced DNS zone editor just click on it basically this is the process advanced zone editor domain settings and this is a record what you need to uh, fill it so name TTL type C name so first name is appear here TTL here it may possible in your hosting the sequence will be different it may possible but there definitely there uh, there will be four options so first you need to check C name and the name what is your name a zone name must be a domain name and can include a period at the end so uh, what is my domain name is this is this is my name or I have already copied here so this is the name the same name so I will copy here name TTL by default TTL is 1440 so you can copy or you can just write 14400 and what is the C name C name is this uh, this this is a C name copy paste so all should be okay and add record system successfully added a record this is the record so this is the first part part one has been done part one is done now part second or third part basically uh, okay so the second part is for SPF I need this detail and only not only this detail right so go to your cpanel and check uh, go to your email and uh, uh, authentication email authentication it may possible you will get only and only authentication so click on it if you bought the domain uh, hosting from uh, uh, host getter then you will get only and only authentication okay so this is a DKIM uh, this is by default active this should be active this should be active DKIM and SPF both should be active here my DKIM is active but SPF is not active or uh, enable so uh, you should click on enable when you will enable it they are all record will appear here this is the FPF okay so this record has been added now what you required include your SPF setting will include in the setting of the all host that you specify 
so you have a sp SPF record and what is it to your this one you required only this one copy and include list basically I written the all, all the things here so the, this is the last pass, last part what I am doing it so go to email authentication enable it both should be enabled basically disable it means if, if the button is showing disable it means this is enable enable in some hosting this thing is not uh, shows so don't don't panic if the, this is showing disable it means SPF DKIM and SPF record is enabled so include add so when you will add and okay paste here and okay and update so plus include this will automatically add here right if you entered all the host you wish to send mail for your domain check this box include all the domains so by default you can check it or you may leave it so you can check it and update go back and the process has been done so this is the process uh, to authenticate of SPF and in uh, and DKIM settings Oh, okay okay and the last thing is you need to click on view setup and authenticate the domain so when the record will be uh, placed in cpanel then your domain will be authenticated so this is authenticates so this is uh, means now your uh, account is verified and authenticated if you will send email then it means your email is uh, uh, like the center policy framework you means you are you are authenticate means you are the person who is sending the mail they understand and the domain key domain key identified mail it means this email is coming from this particular domain like I am sending it means the SPF record is authenticated and I am sending by the sparklab.in or my domain or through my domain so this is authenticated by DKI so this is uh, required this is required for to prevent uh, uh, email spoofing to prevent uh, email spamming like it authenticate to you you are the genuine person so this is the way so this video will appear in my youtube channel and my website uh, very soon thank you so much for uh, giving time thank you so much